Plasma displays frequently contain xenon gas at some sub-atmospheric pressure. In this video I'm going to show a couple different uh, electrodeless flasks uh, filled with xenon at various pressures being excited by high frequency electricity. And uh, what we have in front of us here is a one liter flask of uh, xenon gas. The content of xenon in here cost me about a uh, dollar even though it's at sub-atmospheric pressure, this being about 50 torr. And uh, just as a rough idea, this is a pretty good pressure to fill a plasma toy. This gives a nice effect and you can get some of those nice meandering uh, uh, discharges. Over on the right hand side here we have a, uh, a small uh, high frequency transformer being excited at a frequency between 5 and 50 kilohertz and uh, the uh, flask as you can see is uh, connected electrically to this system via a little cup of water that is capacitively linked to a metal plate beneath it and this is a very satisfactory way of exciting these electrodeless bulbs in plasma displays. It's a means that provides cooling so you don't have too much dielectric uh, heat up due to the current passing through the glass and uh, it uh, it's, makes much better electrical contact than wrapping aluminum foil or something like that. Anyway, 50 Tor, this is a one liter flask and uh, I, will, uh, I will commence by uh, showing a couple different pressures uh, starting with the low end of things at uh, 20 Tor. So we'll take this out of here. And my 20, my 20 uh, Tor flask is a uh, 500 milliliter size. What we see here is a beautiful green colored discharge. This green color is typical of xenon. Oops. Xenon at the very lowest pressures. And uh, some people might find this a good effect for a plasma display. It's kind of dim, but nothing else gives you that green, that emerald green color other than xenon at a low pressure. It's, uh, there's a sort of narrow range of pressures that do this well, but uh, this is 20 torr in this flask, and uh, it provides that beautiful diffuse emerald green glow. Let me turn the light off just a bit more so you can really get the, the full effect there. All right, so xenon at 20 torr. Let's now look at xenon at 40 torr. So I'm going to take this guy out of here. I'll put in another flask containing xenon at 40 torr. So this is the effect of 40 torr. You can see we get a lot of that green color, but at the same time we have this, uh, this concentrated arc that's beginning to form. And uh, this is actually, this is a very good pressure for, for filling a plasma display of, of about this size. Uh, you get the great color, but you also get some, uh, some contrast with that, uh, that sharp meandering uh, discharge, the white discharge. And uh, this is a very beautiful effect. Down at the bottom you can see some fingers here when my hand's not there where the, uh, the diffuse green stuff is present. Let me just uh, change the uh, frequency there of the Tesla coil so we get a more uh, a more diffuse uh, 
green there. Once again, this is uh, 40 tor and uh, a very good pressure to fill a small plasma display. The behavior of the display, uh, I will mention, depends not only on the pressure but also the size of the vessel. So if you were to put 40 tor in, in, in a larger volume, it tends to behave somewhat differently and give you less of the green stuff and more of the uh, more of the white uh, snake, but uh, in general uh, this is a good pressure and, and of course you can go to a slightly lower pressure for, for larger volumes to retain the sort of same uh, qualitative effect. Anyway, 40 tor, now let's look at 60 tor next. So I'll take this guy out. And put in another flask the same size and 60 tor. It's fired up. Now 60 tor you'll begin to note uh, we get a more active uh, a more active and more concentrated uh, filamentary discharge. And uh, this is a very exciting pressure. Uh, a good uh, a good pressure to fill a plasma toy with, but you probably will notice the uh, the uh, difference with uh, the lower pressures, especially uh, the uh, the 20 tor. I mean, now we're dominated by this this white filament that's running everywhere and and is being transported by convection around the globe. But uh, at the same time, the, the pads or the ends of this discharge give that very satisfying green color. And we can get somewhat different effects by adjusting the uh, power level delivered here. Some nice slow white arcs. And... Uh, Again, that's 60 tor. See, I can take it down even a little bit lower, get that sort of white snake or that greenish uh, flame, whatever you want to call that. All right, finally, let's look at 80 tor. That'll be our last one. Eighty tor is the highest pressure I would really routinely recommend for filling plasma toys. Uh, for one thing, if you get more than that, you start getting very expensive. And for another thing, the arc becomes harder to strike. And finally, see even here at eighty tor, this is a this is difficult to to start. There we go. Um, it's a great effect. I mean, it's very beautiful. And, uh... But, as you can tell, I'm having trouble getting it to start and stay lit. Uh, so at 80 tor, uh, you're really running into some challenges for the electrodeless discharges. Um, not so much, I think, for the, uh... uh if you have electrodes in there. Let me direct your attention here to one feature up here at the top of the tube and that is the absolutely gorgeous green color and uh, you'll note this uh, this green color up there. It's, uh, it's really quite striking and uh, of course it appears better at the lower pressures but still uh, you can see it well here. We'll uh, zoom out again. So a really quite satisfactory uh, effect in the range of uh, 40 to 80 tor. Above 80 tor, you're going to have difficulty getting that arc to strike and uh, may risk puncturing the glass with very high voltages. Um, 
so not my recommendation to really exceed that. And then on the low end, if you go below about 20 torr, you're going to get a diffuse discharge that gets uh, increasingly dim as you lower that pressure. So I would say 20 torr is a floor uh, below which you shouldn't really go with these things. 20 torr gives you a beautiful diffuse green plasma that fills the entire volume and has a great color but isn't really exciting, uh, doesn't travel to your hand for example. These higher pressures give discharges that flow to your hand and uh, are very dynamic and exciting to play with. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, please uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'd be uh, happy to entertain uh, suggestions.